Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, Old World Blues. So we have been tasked with running around, collecting stuff. Apparently we collected enough stuff. We still have more stuff to collect if we want. But now, the big giant heads want to talk to us. Talk to... Let Dr. Klein, you've completed your tasks. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're not going to run around and do any more stuff. We're going to go to the think tank. Uh, that's kind of cool. And there's a little puppy dog. Think tank, think tank. Where is the think tank? Not that way. This way. Let's go to the think tank. And... Where we go this way, I guess. Huh? Oh yeah, go talk to the big giant heads. Uh, where is he? Straight ahead? Here? Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. Yeah, I got all your shit, dude. I'd be honored if I could hear any knowledge the think tank had to share on the sciences. Well, let's do this. We'll level up a little bit. Why, yes. We are filled with the knowledge you speak of. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. Hmm. Speak to Dr. Eight if you can. Um, you seem to be the one in charge. You seem like the one in charge. You are? Mobius? What is this strange place? The Forbidden Zone? The Forbidden Zone? Holy crap. All right, let's get this going here. What? You did? Your survival, let alone success, barely registered in my projections. <laughs> now, all I need to do is check my transmission data bank. Mobius is always filling it up with his psychotic calls. Oh, yes, there's the schematics, just like you said. How truthful. Do these technologies have the information you need? Yes. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, um, hmm. <laughs> yes, what? No, I mean, yes. You just need to analyze these technologies for a moment. They are extremely advanced, you know? Do you even know what these technologies do? Why did you have me get them if you don't know how they would help? I'm going to advance my boot into your voice module if you don't give me some solid data. Uh, yeah, let's do this I one. I know how these technologies work. Of course I know. If you remember, we described them in clearly abstract, contradictory statements before. <laughs> Why would we do that if we weren't certain on... on how to use them? Yes, so let me... Hmm, a bit, huh? I'll figure it out. <laughs> look at, look, the antenna focuses the brainwave patterns, right? The antenna, any chance it was damaged or broke the X2 array once removed? When the suit's dampening abilities allow me to sneak into the forbidden zone. Hmm. Sonic emitters a sonic key of some sort? Let's see. Uh, let's try so this So you're saying it's the X2 array, not the antenna I should be examining? That was most likely my plan, yes. Let me check something. Of course, I have it. The override sequence to open the Forbidden Zone door is hidden in the schematics. Well, not hidden. It's actually right there, behind the programming equivalent of coffee stains. It's embedded in what seems to be recursive code. It's badly <laughs> commented there and there. Oh, and null pointers, very sloppy, Mobius. You see, using the antenna to boost the emitter's sonic frequency and the stealth suit to bypass the Forbidden Zone lock, yes, that could work. Was that my plan? It must have been. Sometimes I truly surprise myself. The door is open, and now... Mobius will get his. Don't 
Don't these items seem more biologically focused than that, though? Uh, the cardiac, spinal, and brainwave aspects of this tech. Couldn't they heal me? Hmm. Let's do either one of these work, I guess, huh? These items seem more bi-lightly focused than that. Let me see if they get healed. What, put you back together like some giant hard-boiled yum-yum deviled egg? I mean, technically, these items could all be used to put you back together once you had your brain. But for now, they can be used in the name of aggression. <laughs> the door should be unsealed. Now, instead of being subjected to threats, we can now send an equally threatening message to Mobius. And that message is science. Deliver this message, and Big Mountain shall be freed from Mobius's reign of terror. Um, you can go now. That's your cue. Okay. Alrighty then. Another thing I'm not with. Travel to the Forbidden Zone. Where is that at? Over here. I guess this is the Forbidden Zone. Dome entrance, okay. And. Well, let's see if we can talk to the other goofy people in here. He said we could. Where are they, though? Who's this? Ah, uh, nothing. Not honey. He said we could talk to the, the other bots' heads, but I don't see him in here. <laughs> okay. What do we got down there? Sexy sleepwear. Pre-war hat. Then some more sexy sleepwear? Yeah. Oh, lots of hats. Lots of clothes. Charisma. So, this is just weird. Each one of these rooms has a little sparky thing in it. A Tesla coil of some kind. And there's nothing there, eh? Okay. So, where are the other goofy heads? Is this one over here? I guess it is. I need some ammo. Who is this? This is uh, Dr. O. Is it? Speak to Dr. 8. Didn't I see that somewhere? Dr. 8. Chat with Dr. O. Dr. O, does he's... Breaking news! Talking lobotomite arrives from Think Tank. Its purpose, unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here, impossible. You mean impossible. Oh, really? Now the lobotomite is a master of the dictionary arts. What, do you have a doctorate in verbology? No? I do. And... Stop the presses. Just in for my eye monitors. Is that Rob Kotek on your arm? It is! What's your agenda bringing that in here? Uh, some problem with Robco? How dare you bring Rob Kotek in here? What are you showing off? How great Robert House and his big company are? Ooh, we can make Securitrons better than any robot those geniuses at Big Mountain can make, and they'll last a thousand years. <laughs> uh. You're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, or feet to stomp on its stupid metal guts. <sighs> Damn Robco. I don't think I'll worry you by telling you what House and his robots have been up to since. Uh, yeah, let's tell this guy. Worry about House? Why would I do this? Hope he died alone in a dingy room, streaming his last remaining bodily fluids into jars. 
Mm. Him and his dirty girl bots. Don't even get me started on those filthy biological catcher's mitts. <laughs> I just wanted to ask some questions. Fine. Ask. What do you do here? Do you have another name? Tell me about Mobius and these monsters of his. That genius Mobius somehow cobbles together these really impressive looking robot scorpions with spare parts. Even painted them. Tried to see what makes them tick. Can't even examine them without them detonating all over me. Left with shrapnel and burns. Every time. Supposedly, he has even larger models, even a giant robot scorpion, hidden deep within the Forbidden Zone. Yeah, right. Giant monsters, sure. A giant robot scorpion? Yeah, crazy, right? Something right out of a midnight science fiction feature. Ridiculous. What are the odds? Um, I need more of those worthless caps to test the CIU barter functions upstairs. What do you do here? I think we've spoken long enough. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Uh, you have another name? Yeah, I do. It wasn't always O. I just took that one by default because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. Are you sure? I'm a good listener. I got ears for Great. it. Great psychology. Clearly the worst well, I got of the quest. sciences. Right after colosto diuretics. Okay. So my name is an O. Never was. It was circular. A single character. Digit. But not O. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. Always kept seeing the letter, not the number. If they kept confusing the letter with a number, your name is Dr. Zero. Dr. Zero. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am Zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin Zero. I don't know. O sounds more impressive. Because that's not much of an improvement. Alright, you want me to call you Zero? Zero's or? my name. I'm proud of it, alright? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh. Vivisect me, please. <laughs> if... Okay, I completed it. <laughs> if you wanted to differentiate the O and the zero, just put a slash through the zero. What? <laughs> Zero. Draw a slash through it. It's standard termlink code to distinguish the two. Did, did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? That's brilliant. I mean, I would have come to the same conclusion. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, uh, who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. I can't figure anything out. I'm... Uh, I'm useless. And that's what makes you truly a zero. <laughs> Let's do that one. I'm doing that exactly. One. At least the old name was indisputable. O is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. Well, there's power in zero. It reduces anything multiplied against it to zero. Or you may want to stick with zero as an O of discovery. Maybe you should just dispense with the names to discuss and focus on the accomplishments. Let's do this well, one. Well, of course it does. That's the most lethal of mathematics. That's pretty cool, actually. Destroyer of numbers. I already wreck every robot I study. Why not basic arithmetic? I like your solution. With that kind of slash in the middle, I can set myself apart. If I wanted to. They make a zero in all the think tank. They won't be able to escape it. That diagonal slash right down the middle. Thanks. Mm. Talking to you, it really helped unclog some frustration. Talking. What a primitive form of thought kicking. Uh, getting kind of amazing discoveries you know, to share? My name said like that. It really derezzes my screens. As for discoveries, well, of course. Look at this. Just uh, built it. Amazing, isn't it? 
to scrap electronics, scrap metals. <laughs> uh, looks like junk. It's a discovery. Kill miles beyond your understanding. That you know what? I'm not even gonna pretend. I broke one of the monitors, and those innards start falling out everywhere. <laughs> if you could just hold on to that for me until, well, forever, that would be welcome. I don't need any caps. I think we spoke on the next scheduled audio transmission and reception then. Alright, so where's the other egghead? Over here? Maybe if I put this quest on. Uh, introduce yourself to Dr. Data. The lobotomized animal before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest for knowledge? Communists? Communist animals, perhaps? <laughs> Be warned. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe calling loyal cyber dogs to my aid. Do you comprehend, commie animal? Animal. Did you just call me an animal? Yes, animal. Hormones, pores, glands, all wrapped up in skin. Who knows what terrifying secrets lie beneath your epidermis? Scalpels shall tell us your secrets, even if we must cut deep for such knowledge. I was head of my biology class at American High, you know. I encountered your pet in X8 and had to kill it. So, you put down Gabe. Thank you. A scamp, but really, his highly augmented combat programming could have proved meddlesome. In any event, thank you for putting him down. One last test subject to catalog and sort. Clearly a failure of doggy cyber engineering. What do you do here? Tell me more about Morbius in the Forbidden Zone. Um, tell me about this radar fence around the crater. Why does Klein want these particular technologies? Let's go here first. The malignant tumor that is Morbius plagues us all. His hunger for power, insatiable. From his lair in the Forbidden Zone, his terrifying robo-scorpion army clicks and whirs across the crater a big mountain, ever seeking, ever stinging. <laughs> he must be stopped, or all of Big Mountain shall be destroyed. Uh, tell me about the radar. What is, what is Klein doing with these technologies? There is logic and purpose in it. If these technologies are needed to pierce the Forbidden Zone, so be it. Science is powerful, and in the right hands, our hands, if we had hands, we <laughs> would be nigh unstoppable. Uh, tell me about the radar fence. The radar fence protects us all. If evidence is correct, the one who built it is me. It keeps anything with a disembodied brain inside, like us. And anything without a brain, also inside. <laughs> it is the ultimate defense against communist aggression. There'll be no infectious ideas on my watch. That fence doesn't make much sense to me. Wait a minute. That means you're trapped here. Trapped? Nonsense! We are secure here from evil philosophies. Ever since my anxiety-filled days of powerlessness and being bullied in American high school, I have dreamed of such security as the fence. That and giant cybernetic dogs that would ruthlessly patrol and kill anyone who wasn't my friend. Like Richie Marcus and Betsy Bright. Who's laughing now, Betsy? 
I hope you and Richie are happy smoking in your radioactive coffins. I'm glad you never came to my birthday party. <laughs> ah, but there's a whole world beyond this place. No, beyond is death, despite mounting evidence to the contrary. No matter where these strange humans wander in from with their ideas and new brains, there is nothing beyond Big Mountain. Uh, that doesn't prove your evidence to the country. That doesn't prove you're wrong. It doesn't, doesn't that prove you're wrong? Enough! Stop filling my precious brain cell units with irrelevant data. You sound like the other visitors, making wild claims of a world beyond, where there is a war beyond war. It is unproven and unthinkable. Bother the other doctors with your crackpot theories. <laughs> I have no time. None of us do. The big empty. Um, that see. castrated nickname of our facility is not its true name. The true name is Big Mountain. Where are your manners? It is our home, threatened by the horrors of Mobius. All we wish to do is continue our research. Layer upon layer, above and beneath the floor of the crater, until we have our answers. But no, Mobius will not let us rest, scaring us with his scary robots with their laser tails and blowing up all the time. <laughs> mm, why have you leveled this place? Why have you leveled this place? I saw the expanse from the back. Balcony, you've made a mess of the landscape. This crater looks like it's been tag teamed by giant fuckbots. <laughs> Why have you left this place? It was not our first choice of testing grounds, but we no longer have the luxuries of our test cities. Then we lost the mountain. After the explosion, we couldn't find it anymore. So the <laughs> crater became our testing grounds for science. Test cities? Yes. In the past, individuals would come to us, pay for technology, and if their town, community, or city was just right, we could use that city as a controlled experiment. Vault Tech was much better at it, of course. We had to make do, get permission, sometimes. If only we could have used commie cities. But capturing whole cities was hard, so we captured enough commies to make cities of our own. <laughs> so we had a group of Chinese prisoners to experiment on. Those were the days. But the true test was science on unsuspecting Americans. Whether it was holograms, new autodocs, toxins, vending machines, we wound them up, let them go into tiny, isolated towns. Then, we observed. Uh, yeah, I think we're kind of done here. Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. Alright, where's the, uh... The next bot. Let's see. There and there. So someone's over here. Where? Oh, right here. I missed him. Okay. All right. I got to uh, take a small break. So we'll be right back. Hang on. Be right back. Okay. All right. Let's look at our little quest thing here. I guess we'll get we'll get XP for speaking to all these guys. Where's who is this, Dr. B? Dr. 8. Oh, can't talk to this guy. He's a whack job. Can you speak? Do you understand me? Did something happen with your voice module? Hmm. That uh, is too bad or good or something. Uh... 
Um, can I ask, can you understand me? Can I ask you questions? Okay, this is just not gonna go well. Uh, I gotta be moving on. Nothing there. It's gonna really help us do anything. Where's the other guy at? Uh, here. We did Dr. O. Oh, here we go. You are an Dr. unusual Data. specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank. Fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear facing me. Epidermis flushed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will <laughs> you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. So we've completed that task. Uh, the quick the quick scribe jumped over the lazy paladin. Uh, not right now. I have some quick. Okay, yes, this yes. One. Go on. Seeing your lips and mouth forming the words, both revolting and somehow. How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control <laughs> each muscle and the tongue. Like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and <laughs> flopping in one's mouthful cavity. He seemed to be looking at me a lot. We can't get that one. How's a perception? Okay. Coming out of her shell. Who are you and what do you do here? Why did you remove my brain and how? I feel strange in here, peaceful but on edge. Get to the bottom. Uh, let's see. We're supposed to help him out, huh? Tell me about the big empty, uh, big mountain. Well, let's see. Can we help her? I guess. What do you do here? Why, my little bear of teddiness. I am Dr. Dalla, first head chief researcher of mineralogy and medicinal sciences. I have 211 doctorates in both applied sciences and techniques to apply those sciences. I also possess a degree in curiosity and advanced curiosity. <laughs> that is merely schooling, however. When possible, I prefer fieldwork and observation to holotape eidetics. It has proven useful, especially now. I have become the expert on humanology and lobotomite behavior here at Big Mountain. My research doesn't descend into formography. It is only science. Uh, first head chief researcher. A lot, a lot of titles. Dacus, how's he messy? What's formology? It's an examination of the human form to achieve psychological arousal. Disgusting. I would never succumb to such base appetites. Distractions. Filthy, filthy distractions. Hmm. Mm, a lot of titles. What is the name without a title or a suffix for the sake of hierarchy? It is a long-standing quantification of personality and importance. We could not do without it. Surely you must be aware of the gravity of such attached appellations, just as surely as you must have a title. I'm sometimes called a courier. Oh, a mailman. A delivery man. Someone who takes parcels from place to place using their primitive feet or similar conveyance. You are the second one I've met in recent times. Very different specimens. There was another courier? Of course. You must have met others in your travels. This one had met other couriers too. Although it sounded as if he hadn't met the correct one. He asked us all many questions, and then he asked a most perplexing one. We had to segment the event out of our memories for safety. Hmm. 
What was the question? I do not know, nor should we try to access it. Perhaps Klein has the logs. My evaluation would be to let your own curiosity go. I do not think that Klein remembers the conversation as being satisfactory. Hmm. Why'd you move my brain and how? Oh, removing it is a simple procedure. Well, except the complications it can cause to the heart and spine. But once mm. the heart and spine are gone, no trouble at all. Clamp the subject down. One laser incision around the skull. Crack. Snip. Done. <laughs> the brain is finally free of the skin envelope, which is then kept automated for cleanup duties around Big Mountain. The Bottomites. With you, however, something is definitely wrong. We've never had a lobotomite who kept speaking after being forcibly lobotomized. I am relieved the pacification field is working. If it didn't, I would broadcast some concern to my colleagues about safety protocols. But how am I still talking and walking around? How is this even possible? That is a good question. My theory is that the Tesla coils in your brain pan are still connected to your brain somehow. It really could be anywhere. <laughs> Brains are a lot smarter than most researchers give them credit for. We still have your spine and heart. If you were to somehow find your brain, wherever it slurped off to, you could humanically <laughs> reduce yourself again. Okay. I feel strange in here, peaceful but on edge. It is the pacification field emitters that are broadcasting into the emptiness of your skull. Without a brain, your aggression is suppressed in here. Is there any way to shut it off? Why would you want such a thing? You might surrender to your hormones and commit primal aggression on me, on us, again and again. Then I would have to return the favor, activating my vivisectors and gently lobotomizing you from behind. Not something I would relish doing. <laughs> no, the only way to circumvent the field is to have a brain. And we extracted that like we do all the lobotomites here. Okay, yeah, I think we're done. Interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. Okay, so did we complete that little thing? Coming out of her shell, get to the bottom of Dallas' biological fascination. I didn't, I didn't get to the bottom of it, huh? Well, let's try one more time. Let's see if we can get a little way, get away from her a little bit. Turn as curious yep. as a teddy bear. Are you stuck in a looping gesture of greeting? I have questions I need answers to. Randomized. Ask your questions then. Uh, let's see, Doctor Mobius. Dr. Mobius, a monstrous brain creased with wrinkles of a thousand evils, with but one jaundiced eye with which to perceive the world. Exiled from the think tank for crimes too heinous to remain in recorded memory, and perhaps differences in research methodology. His one terrible eye forever peers at us, an eye of ever-increasing magnification. He watches from his dome in the Forbidden Zone, spying on us all. I have a feeling I need this perception to get the answer to her question. Let's see if I have anything that will Until our bring up my perception. My intriguing little lobotomite. I sold all my magazines, I think. Let's see. What do we got? Yeah, let me see. I got that. Yeah, I sold all my magazines, so I have no more magazines. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me see. Perception. What is perception? Uh, 
perception is seven. I only need one more, huh? Perception is seven. So... I might have a, a piece of uh, clothing that increases my perception. Oh, here's perception plus two. Um, I forgot what I needed. Sorry, I gotta start over again, girl. Perhaps you are stuck in a loop. I need. Oh, I only need one. Okay, we could do this. Until our Take a mentat. My intriguing little lobotomite. Take a mentat and see how that works for us. Oops! No! 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 Go! No! We haven't. Until our next interaction, my intriguing little. Sorry, lobotomite. pushed the wrong button again. All right, this button. We want to do a mentat. Let's see how this works. Uh, perception nine. Okay, now we're good. Yep. Questions? There we go. What else? Your fascination with the human body. What nonsense! <laughs> Close eyelids. Breathe deeply, then stretch longingly or langingly. Turn and cough roughly, then slowly scratch your nose. Run your hands along the side of your face, then exhale rapidly. Yeah, let's do this one. What? What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I just had to do that. Run your hands along the side of your face, then exhale. Stop it. Why? Why are you making me partake in this filthy formography? Enough. I'm already intrigued. You have sufficiently <laughs> me. I don't know what it is about the biology of lobotomites. It it infects my thoughts. All that skin and muscle and tissue. Why don't you just give in? There's nothing wrong with looking at the human body. Perhaps perhaps there is value in what you say. I... I did so enjoy breathing once, long ago. I could come back at any time and just breathe if you want. Would you? I feel so ashamed, but yet so <laughs> intrigued. You'll need to give me a rest in between visits, or else my gel might run over. <laughs> if you're ready, let me radar scan you. Slowly. things that hook up here, aren't we? Let's, uh, survival. No, let's just go with barter. Alright, we can go talk to Klein one more time and get get that little thing there. Go ask Klein about the conversation he had with the last visitor. Yeah, let's do that. Klein's the guy. He's the one upstairs, right? I think so. That's not Klein, right? He's over here. What are you doing back? Morbius' threats persist. Worse, he's filling up our transmission storage holotype to capacity. I heard one of the previous visitors to the dome spoke to you and asked you some questions. Hmm? Oh yes, the last visitor. Well, the one just before you. 
An interesting name from some language that's almost impossible to speak. What did we speak about? Melancholy fellow. Had questions about uh, history, but our conversation got interrupted twice, I believe. Once when the trains got derailed, and then a second time. Oddly enough, now that I'm accessing my databanks, I don't recall what the second time was. Mobius's incessant transmissions keep distracting me. Also, he didn't brain scrub the visitor. He may have left with some knowledge he shouldn't have. I believe, maybe. Oh well, I'm sure it's of no consequence. I don't make many mistakes in calculation or perception, so probability favors me. And that completed the quest, huh? Okay. I don't want to talk to these guys anymore. Well, let's see. Maybe he can tell me about the forbidden that zone. That glowing red scar, that laser lobotomy canyon maze carved in the landscape, as if by some child. It is Mobius's fortress. From that <laughs> hemorrhoidal fissure, he sends his <laughs> amazing robo scorpions to terrify and irritate us. <laughs> he always tended to the dramatic. Tell me about these pylons. Well, yeah, he said da da da. Actually, all performed. What about the pylons? Ask Boros. I believe he knows more about the fence than any brain. Except maybe Mobius. Mobius was involved in their construction, if I recall. But he's such a hack, he probably was reading off Boros's notes and schematics. Okay, so I think we're done. Yes, a most goodbye. Okay, how do we get out of here? We want to go... Uh, travel to the Forbidden Zone. We haven't done this yet. Well, we can do all of these things on the way to the Forbidden Zone, right? Oh, Jesus. Three more places to go. Four more places to go. But we can also do this. This is pretty easy. I, th I, I He says with great confidence. Go release something. Um, that must be Morbius right there. His eyeball. How do I get out of here? This way. It's too dark in here. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to our room. The sink. Okay, so we're back. I went last, uh, last video. Golly, shut up. Just before... Well, I mean, off camera, between the last video and this video. I did create some ammo. You know, I tried to do that, just to see what it would do. It just, you really need... You need lots of materials to create ammo. So I need more of this ammo, but I can't get it because I got nothing to create it with. Let's go to my workbench. Is this it? That's a workbench. What can I create there? Anything? Hmm. Nothing. We can convert stuff. That's interesting. I can convert... Electron charge pack to a microfusion cell. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Don't know. Where's the, uh... Here, this is it. The reloading bench. I can make this, I can make this. That ain't what I need. These are not the things I need. I need these. I don't need nails. Why do I have nails? Break down scrap metal to lead. That doesn't help me. What do I need to do this up here? This thing. I probably need everything to do what I want to do with that. Where is that? This. 
I need casings. Okay, I've got everything else, but I don't have 12.7 casings. Um, let's see if the uh, little machine here has any casings. Very good, sir. Would that be under miscellaneous? Let's see. He has 241 of them. Oh, probably because I sold them to him. Let's grab these. No, no, we don't want to cancel it. Uh, zero cap, so this is just a accept. All right, so I gave him that. So let's see if we could, if we, how many we can create now. Uh, let's see what we can create. I don't know. Let's try it. How many can we make? Ah, 75. That's not bad, I guess. It's something. Now what am I missing? Probably missing materials now, right? I'm missing lead, which I can convert lead. Break down scrap metal to lead. Only two? No, 400 lead added. Okay. Now we can make more of these. This is a, yeah, this is kind of a round and around thing, is it? Now what do I need? I need some more lead, but I don't have any more lead. Unless we can buy some lead. What's in this thing over here? It's empty. Let's buy lead. Might I be of service, sir? Yeah, this whole, uh, Manufacturing thing. Very good, sir. Miscellaneous. There's no lead. We don't have any lead. Right? But you can break scrap metal down into lead. Isn't that what it said? Let's try it. He's gonna he's gonna make me pay for the scrap metal though. Let's see. Break down scrap metal to lead. Yeah, I wish it would just stay on the screen. That would make things a whole lot simpler. I'm gonna make ten. Um, am I still missing lead? Powder. Now I'm missing powder. But do I have everything else I need? It looks like I have everything else I need. Powder. So let's see if he has what kind of powder. There's a specific kind of powder, because I remember that. I need powder. Pistol powder. Okay. Might I be of service, sir? Very good, sir. Pistol powder. Again, would that be miscellaneous? Or... It's not here. It must be miscellaneous. Primer and powder pack. 82 bucks. I got a lot of money, so... Not really, I keep burning money, don't I? I mean, this is kind of crazy. This is the only way to... to get my, uh... ammo, is make it. They just sell it to you. What the hell? Holy crap, I got a lot of stuff for that, didn't I? Alright, finish it up. Let's go. Video's getting long. Man, I got a ton of crap now. I need to go store it, probably. I can store it right there in that little box. Look at all that. All right, let's make some more of these. 50. Now what do I need? 
Powder pistol, I use it all. Okay, well, what about... I can't make any... Yeah, 50 cal. I can't make any 50 cal. But you can break down the casings. Do I have casings of stuff I'm not going to use? No, I don't. Alright. Let's store anything I don't want over here. Miscellaneous. Let's see. Casing. Let's put all this over here. Lead. Put that in there. Powder. Yeah, all of this crap. We don't need it. Just gonna take up space. Alright, we can put the scrap electronics in here too. This doesn't have any value. Let's put those in there too. We can break those down later. Alright. So, let's see how much ammo I have. That seems to be my little, uh, choking point is this ammo for my, my main weapon. Where is it at? Here it is. I now have 653. Okay, that's not bad. I have 654 for my sniper rifle. This thing here, use that in emergencies. I have 75 microfusion cells. I have eight incendiary grenades. Those might make those. 1600 of my carbine. That doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, though. This doesn't seem to do a lot either, even though it's doesn't have doesn't need ammo. And this only has looks like it has seventeen hundred. Yeah, we got seventeen hundred for that gun, and that's a little that's a little iffy too. All right, so. <laughs> call it a video here and when we come back I guess we'll head to the X13 and release the dogs oh wait no no that's not what we want to do we want to do this one release this this is the one we want to do we're not going to go back here and do all the complete all the tests we don't need to do that we might do that at some point but oh it's something else I have determined after some research, I'm just going to get this all out in this video because this video is already too long, but that's okay. My recon armor suit is kind of useless. That sneak plus five does not stack on my 100 sneak, or it doesn't stack. It only helps if something debuffs my sneak, which I don't know what that could be, but, you know, it would have to debuff it a lot to be of any use. Same with stealth suit just it's useless I mean it's not useless but that's all the suit is good for and it's heavy this one's no this one's a medium suit and where is my my trilly this thing here so I gotta find some new armor as a matter of fact let's see what this guy has for armor might I be of service sir very good sir um Apparel. He has combat armor. Which, you know, again, that's not much better than what I already have. DT of 15. And he can repair my stuff, but he is expensive to repair it through. And I don't really want to repair anything here until I get my gold bars. If I'd have known what this thing was going to do for me. I'd have brought a bunch of gold bars with me. Very good, sir. See, I like 2,500 caps. This thing here is 1,389. And what about my stealth suit? No, 5,000 caps to restore my stealth suit. Dee, 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 dee. Same with the recon armor. This thing needs 1,500 caps. Uh, 8,000 caps. 
This thing's 7,000 caps to restore this, which I shouldn't even... I should just drop this. Let's go store that. I wonder if I can scrap that. I don't think you can scrap it. Too bad. Let's go... Where's my bedroom at? We'll go store that little thing in there for now. I have a thing. Let's go store something right here. This is a good place to put it. Uh, this one, this was useless. Let's just stick it in there for now. It has no value. I don't know if it will ever have any value. Alright, so... Ah, it's the light switch. Alright, so... We come back. We're gonna go... Release the unusual specimen into the testing area. Should be fun. So, if you're watching... Thanks for watching. See ya.